everybody. Um, this is Jean here. Um, I just wanted to show you the progress, the work in progress. The last video I made, I was um, making this green and red quilt, if you remember, <laughs> making all these blocks. Um, I remember I told you I was going to add a border, perhaps. Well, I did. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm quilting it now. I'm free motion quilting it. It's not finished. Um, but what I wanted to show you, um, what I wanted to explain about this quilt is remember we were talking how I was going to do it seven blocks across and nine rows down? Well, I didn't do that because I didn't fancy it. So I actually ended up making a twin size quilt, which is six blocks across and eight rows down. You'll see the whole thing in the next couple of days when I finish it. Um, nice twin size quilt. So I used up 48 of my blocks, right? Six times 48. I used 48 of my blocks. So I have, I made 63 of these blocks. So I have more blocks left. My point is, I had, um, I was saying this on, on my YouTube and people were giving me suggestions. Well, well, you could do this or do that. So I actually thought, well, I made a twin size quilt. I may or may not sell this, um, but I thought, I know there was a suggestion. Why don't you? make a pillow sham. So, remember my little handy dandy envelope style closure pillow sham things? Um, I made one. Six blocks I've used. I used six blocks. I didn't like ruffle it or put a flange on it or anything like that. I just stuck the blocks together. I thought it was pretty. Um, I've used the same backing as I've, I've used the backing for my quilt. And I've lined it. Remember how we make this? You line it. It's all lined. Um, and it's just funny. There's a, there's an actual bed pillow in here. And look, it's th these the the blocks finished at nine and a half inches. So six of them make a you know put together, sewn together, make a nice um, bed size pillow. So I did that. So I have I still have some more things left. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I, I have these blocks. So what did I make? I, I was thinking about like, well, now I have these blocks. It's coming up to the holiday time, right? So they're little, you know, you have these, you have these little blocks. Oh, where are they? Oh, anyway, you have little blocks. What can I do with them? They're pretty, just blocks on themselves. Like what kind of little gifts could I make out of like orphan blocks? Well, um, you know, that they're, they are quick and easy. And I thought placemats, that's cool. You could add a little bit or a, a mug rug. I like them very much. But what I I have I've made these before. But I was looking at these blocks and I'm like, yeah, I could do this. So look what I made. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little lo fully lined, fully lined cosmetic bag that I made. One one of them is the red, the the white block, and the other one is the green. So um, with a little red zipper. And then I've lined it with the actual red of my backing. And it's quilted. And it stands up. So, um, yeah, I made these. And it's funny, I, got, I have to tell you a little story. I had actually, um, for a craft show several years ago, I made, a, I made a ton of these. And they sold. You can make them any size. You can make them big, you can make them small. But the one, I, I actually, I might be doing a tutorial on it because I think, I think you'd be interested for presents, really nice presents. These have a cloth lining. Don't be intimidated. I'm going to do a tutorial on this. It takes 15 minutes. They're really easy. And you're thinking, oh, I never put a zipper in anything. It is so easy. Bear with me. It's so very simple. I'll tell you what you need. Really, really easy. I've been, I've done all real cute zippers with an end. It, it, and I've, I've done it, but this is as simple as construction. You would not have, you would not be intimidated. But what I was saying is I actually made some of these a little bit bigger because I had had, um, bought some, um, plastic like vinyl clear vinyl and I actually lined one of these with the vinyl so it became like a um like a, a wet bag and I had I was selling them at a um at a craft show and one of the ladies came back I made smaller ones and a few bigger ones she came back bought them all she says because her her kids and her her friends would go to the beach. We're only about an hour and a bit away from um, the uh, the Atlantic Ocean here, the shore. And um, her little, her girls had these little tiny, you know, bikinis. 
a leg change of an evening time and stick them in a in a carrier bag or wrap them up in a damp towel. She said in the in the in the um the vinyl plastic lining. What a good idea. Um, or like a baby bag, a kid throws up and it's like, ugh, what are you going to do? You stick it in the back, your, your diaper bag, some beautiful little baby fabric with a zip, nice and contained. So that's not what I'm doing now, but I think I will be showing you how I made that. I also attached this little, like, almost like a wristlet because, and I, I, it's, it's sturdy as anything. I did that because, you know, you can go to a yard sale or a, or a garage sale, or car boots is, or in England, you just put that over your thing. What can it hold? Your phone, keys, a credit card, and some cash. And your, your hands are free. You can hold on to the zip. Nice little bag. Nice little bag. Lots of, pre li lots of um, uses. A kid can, can put their crayons in it. Little girls can put their little dollies in it. Anyway, this is what I'm going to be showing you. This is my tutorial for today. I still have like ten no, eight blocks left. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm dreaming red and green blocks. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this little tutorial um, for this little, this little quilted bag. And I will be showing you how you can make them bigger, smaller, um, but that's our tutorial for today. So I hope you love it. So here we are. We're going to be making this little um, bag here, this little cosmetic bag. It's fully lined. Um, there's not one raw seam in the lot um, with a little box closure at the bottom. Now, as you know, I've made this out of my, um, my extra blocks from my quilt. You could use any piece of fabric, any size at all. And I'm going to be showing you um, a few examples of what I've done. You can make them little small change purses. You can make large things. But this is what we're going to be making. And this is what we're going to be needing to make this. <laughs> My extra blocks. I have, a, I, have more, I have extra blocks. So I have two pieces of fabric. This happens to be my block. You could make it a beautiful piece of fabric and skip one step, which I'm going to do because I'm going to actually quilt this onto my batting. But um, um, you could just use regular fabric. And if you didn't want to make this um, as um, quilted, you could actually just use like a, a stiffer interfacing, perhaps a fusible interfacing on here and construct it from the lining and the zipper. But I actually go the one step extra and I actually make it quilted. So I have my two blocks, which at this point are cut nine and a half inches of square. Now it was interesting, when I made this little quilt here, um, this little quilted bag, I didn't necessarily, I thought, oh, I don't want a square bag. So what I actually did is I actually took off about, excuse me, I actually took off about half an inch on the top and half an inch on the bottom. I'm not going, and, and it came out this size. So I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to just see what it looks like if I make it this size. It's just, um, each, each little bag is going to be completely different. So what I'm going to do is I have this block here, two of them, front and back of my little bag. I have two pieces of lining inside and out, front and back of my bag. I have two pieces of batting that I'm going to be quilting my bag. And then I have a zip. Now it's very important that your zipper be longer than your bag. If you do a seven inch bag, you want like a nine inch zipper. This is a almost 10 inches. I'm doing, I could have done a, a, a 12 inch, but actually this is a 14 inch zipper I just had. It's red. Um, so that's okay. You just want your zipper bigger than whatever the top of your bag is. Um, polyester, the nylon zipper, because we're cutting through it and we're actually sewing through it, which is fine. And then I just cut, I don't even know what this is. I just cut a piece of fabric out for my little wristlet here. What, however long you want, if you even want this. And what we do with this is we fold it and we turn it and we make a little, a little strap. Um, so however, how, I, this is an actual wide strap. I don't quite like that actually. I'm going to do a little bit narrower. So how, however long. This is about, uh, about, that's about two and a half inches by 12 inches say for my little strap. So now my first step is I'm going to take this over to my machine and I'm actually going to 
put the uh, wrong side of my block to the batting and, I'm, and on each piece, just square that up and I'm actually just going to sew, quilt as it were, along here, along this line and along that line and that line. And then I'm just going to do, as you can see here, I just did an X from this corner down to here. So I'm, I'll be back. I won't be showing you on the machine. If you can just, if you can just um, imagine what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to take this to my machine and just sew an X and just quilt these two pieces as such. Um, I've just gone in and um, actually quilted my, my front and my back piece. Now I don't want to confuse you by um, not showing you on the, on the sewing machine. Um, you're like, oh, what do you mean quilted? If you just do a piece of fabric, just a plain piece of fabric, and you, you just want to attach it somehow to your, to, you just want to quilt it as such, to your batting. So maybe you just want to do lines. That's all. You just, or maybe, maybe just the little squares across. In this case, I just followed my block pattern here, and then I just quilted an X. Very simple. Now we've cut everything fairly the same but I just want to clean up these edges here of my um, my little block as it were the front of my quilt and the sides um, get that because we cut the batting but fabric shrinks it moves and so we just want to sort of clean that up so we have a nice nice what we're working with here um, just each side pretty good. That one's nice. And uh, this one. So now what we want to do is, I can't believe how easy it is, I'm going to take my zipper and again as I said this is a 14 inch uh, polyester zipper which is a nylon zipper. Now this is very important that you, uh, that looks a bit crooked, no it's not. Um, you, you're going to be placing your zipper face down, okay? Face down on the top of a block. Now see how much bigger it is? This is what we want because you don't have to mess with this piece here, the, the pulley at all. And actually you don't even really need to have a special foot. Oh, now where? Oh, I, will, I have to get my... I have to get my pins. Oh, I, I, I'm ever so sorry. Oh, I keep losing my pins. I, I, actually, I, I don't pin a lot. And then I think, well, I must show you um, how, to, how to do it properly. <laughs> um, so you're going to be placing the, on the top, wherever the top of your fabric is, your zipper face down. Then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking a piece of your lining fabric and you're going to put it pretty side to pretty side, the right sides together. And we've, since we've cut them the same, you're going to line this piece of lining up with the top, sandwiching that zipper in between your block you want everything right at the top between your block and your um your lining. So just put a few pins in there. Make sure this is right at the top. This is fairly important that you actually have that sandwiched together. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you over to the machine and I'll show you how I'm going to, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to take you over to the machine and I'm going to show you how I'm going to sew this. I've brought this over to my machine and again what we're doing is right side to right side with the with the zipper sandwiched in between. The zipper has been put down the um, the pulley side down, as it were. Now you won't even need to put on a special foot, or I, I feel I don't. You're going to be seeing and you're going to be feeling the teeth of your zipper, which is right about there. So I, it, it really is rather, it really is sort of like a, um, a quarter, a quarter inch, maybe a little bit less. You want to be quite straight with that. If you do it that way. Be very careful 
Go fairly slow. You can feel these teeth. Make sure you're... Just go very slow. And, um not catch those teeth. But I even feel, some people might want to put a zipper foot on, but I, I don't, um, and I never have had a problem with this. As long as you're nice and straight, actually backstitch a little, backstitch a little bit. Um, now let's see, <laughs> let's see how this turned out. So what we're wanting is, hopefully, yeah, that is what we're wanting. And there, is one side of our lined bag. Look at that. Now, now, excuse me. Now, what we're wanting to do is we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So what you do is you put your, you put your, um, Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, no. Um, excuse me. I'm going to go over to my ironing board and I'm actually going to press this down. Again, you don't have to, but I like to press it down. So I will be right back having pressed this down, pulling it away and pressing it down. So I've, I've gone along and I've pressed this down. Now you're going to, you're going to see that your lining has, is a little bit bigger than your... Um, your um block don't worry about that that's going to get all you're, you're thinking what have i done i've i've um you know i cut it all the same don't worry about this bottom piece but what we're going to do is we're going to copy exactly now this can just be slightly confusing so you just have to think well how is your bag constructed this is what you're going to be this is how your bag wanting is wanting to look right with the, your zipper at the top so what you're going to do on this piece here is your we're, remember we're always sandwiching our zipper in between the lining and the backing so this is nice and straight so what you're going to do is you're going to put the right side again on the on that zipper there on the top of the zipper lining up your edges of your block and then you turn it around and here's your lining. And again, always right sides together. So here's our lining fabric. And we're just going to put the right sides together. And we're doing the exact same thing. We're sandwiching this zip in between the lining and our block. At the very, just making sure it's at the very top of our, our little sandwich here. And again, pinning it. If you need to, you don't have to worry about this. You just come along, make sure that's nice and even. Your, your lining, your bag top, and your zip are nice and even. And then you come and you start at the top here again. It's pretty much, I, I just backstitched slightly. It's pretty much a quarter of an inch. You've, you've yep, your, your zipper is in there. You're not catching the teeth. You're doing it very straight. It's so simple. Do not be intimidated whatsoever. Look, our zipper's in. Done. A few stitches and you have installed a zipper. Come there and I will just back stitch a little bit. And what do we have here? Wonder of wonders. We have the inside of our lined bag perfectly. The zipper's done perfectly. And the outside of our lined bag. And we have a beautiful zip that you can see, right? You can, it's, I, I like that. I like a contrasting zipper. Now, again, I'm going to take this over to my ironing board, and I'm just going to smooth all of this down. Don't worry, again, your lining is slightly larger than your, than your block, than your uh, material, the way it's constructed on each end. See, it's about half an inch, and that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to go over, and I'm just going to press this really nice and down. Actually, quite a few people like to um, top stitch it. I don't. Uh, um, I like the, the, the um, to, I, I like... I like this. I like this look. Uh, you, you could top stitch it if you want. I don't. Um, it's more. It's more cushy and, and quiltedy looking. So I'm just going to go over and I'm going to press this down. 
So this is what we have. We have our bag's almost finished. Like, oh my word, how easy is that? Now what you want to do is you want to open up your zipper about halfway, uh, maybe three quarters of the way. All right, so there we have our zipper open. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sewing the right sides of our little package here together. So here are the right sides of our front and back. We're gonna come along with a zipper here, which is big. And then here's the right sides of our lining. Don't worry about this, it's not gonna match up. We're just gonna sort of square off this lining as it, as it is. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be leaving a hole. Hopefully my hand isn't the way. Just smooth this all down. Match this all up here. Match this up here. It's important you match your blocks up there. And your lining won't really match up, but that's okay. What we're going to be doing is we have to leave a hole in this lining in order to turn our bag inside out. Very important. Remember to open up the zipper. You won't be able to turn your bag inside out. So open up your zipper. Now we have, if you're making a small bag or a larger bag, you still want to leave a decent size opening because it's a lot of quilted stuff to pull through. So don't worry that they're not matched up. Just make sure that they're nice and smooth. And I go along, I'll start about, I'll start about two inches here from the um, from the end, and I do back stitch. I back stitch, you know that, a lot. And then I go to this end, and that doesn't. Yeah, that matches up. It's okay. Then I'll put my presser foot down, and I'm going to come up this way. Now you're going to say, "Oh no, what are we going to do here at the zipper?" We literally are just going to. Put the ends here together, sort of, and um, actually pull this, pull it sort of this way. It, it's either, it, the, the, the zipper gets caught in the seam anyway. So I just sort of pull these, these ends together here, if you can see that. So this part's going this way, this part's going that way. And all we're going to be doing is stitching, hopefully you can see this, over this zipper, straightening everything up here. It's a big lump. Go slow, because you're going over a nylon teeth, you're, and now you're coming into two lots of block, quilted, padded, uh, batting block. So you're just going to come down, go slow. This is your quilted bag part. Gonna come down. It's not quarter of an inch. I do about half an inch. You can do quarter of an inch. This block's nice and square, nice and even, because we've trimmed it up nicely. Come to about there. And then again, Again, we're going to put these two zippers going that way. See, if you've noticed, I've, I've my zippers, my seams, just doesn't really matter. Just make sure the teeth are together. You, you'll be able to feel it as you're going along. And again, smoothing everything down and then very carefully going over that lot down to the bottom corner and trying to match it up with this corner here. And then we're going to, again, we're going to be leaving our opening to about, from about there. Now, as you know me, what am I going to do? <laughs> Not necessary, maybe. I'm going to go back because I want my bag nice and sturdy. I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to go over this seam. So many people don't, but I, I do. I reinforce um, on something like this. There's a lot of stuff here, and I just feel better if I go back slowly, just slowly over those teeth. Just want to bite by bite. 
and then come along. There's a lot of material here, so I'm just going to go back and reinforce this stitching here. Doesn't hurt. To the corner, turn. Come along. And you can see the stitching to that corner. I, know, I should have my presser foot up thing, but I, <laughs> I haven't pushed it. And then come along here. And again, bite by bite over this nylon zipper. Down the lining. To that corner. And back stitch. Now I will just come along and I'll just take off this that extra bit of lining. And then what you want to do, be brave, you want to just cut off that extra bit of zip. And come over here and cut off that extra bit of zipper. Now, what I do is I actually cut my corners to get, get rid of the bulk here. And now, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be reaching inside your bag here pretty much I can get my hand in there and you can feel I've opened my zipper so important I'm just gonna come and I'm gonna pull this whole kit and caboodle out through this opening pushing out my corners and I'll see how it's I'll see how it's turned out because I have to I have to go back and do one more step but let's just see how this has turned out push my corners out push my zip out push my lining in because I have to turn it back in I have to turn it um, inside out again but I just want to see what it looks like oh guess what I forgot to do oh I forgot to put the thing on I forgot to put my I forgot to put my loop on. Oh well, this one doesn't have a loop. Oh, isn't that funny? This one doesn't have a loop. Look at that. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, I forgot to put my loop on. Look at that. I've been I've been so excited. What I would have done, I, I I would have turned this around, made a little loop and stuck it in there, but I didn't do that. Oh, I'll I'll show another one how I did that. So anyway, <laughs> I forgot to do that. Look at that. I was excited. Look how quick it works up though. So here is my fully lined, fully lined little bag. Now what I am going to do, sorry about that. I forgot to put the loop on. Um, look, and it is a little bit squarer actually. That's okay. I quite like it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it inside out again because I want to actually make it, remember those little corners how it stands up so what you do is push this all out but like like amazing it's amazing what I would have done is I would have um open uh, maybe I'll do it do you want me to do it nah nah I'm not gonna do it uh, the, the I would have made this little what you do is you, you you have a piece about that big you turn you, you fold it in half you fold this again and then you fold it over like this and you stitch it along so you literally have just made this loop and then that goes like that inside here so that when it's turned out inside out you you have your hanging loop but I haven't done that maybe you can figure that out I'm very very sorry about that I was excited but anyway this is the part what we want to make our corners remember to make it stand up um, so what you do is you pull out your corner of each of each corner and let me see if I can see this pull each corner out it's bulky here because we've done it quilted but sort of like you can sort of mat you can sort of feel the seams matching up as it were so push them this side right you want to like sort of square that corner off it's a lot of bulk 
And a lot of people measure, they measure, they measure, they measure. So I've done these two corners. I've just matched up these seams together. You can feel how you're going to be squaring this off. And I've stitched across there. And I'm going to now do the exact same thing to my lining. We've made this corner on our lining. So I'm just going to pull this up to pull the um, fabrics out from me. Oh, <laughs> they're not going. Pull the fabrics out from each other. And then hopefully my hands aren't in the way. You can feel it. You're go just going to be sort of matching that seam. You can feel it to that seam back there, right? And it's this sort of squared off configuration. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to come out. You're just going to come and you're just going to stitch again. It's about, about an inch and a half, just squared off from that, from that corner. That seam's in the middle. Just, I just back stitch right across that. And this is, this is the squared off bit of our lining in our bag. Again, come and do the same thing with this corner. You just sort of put that seam and that seam. You just feel it with your fingers together, pulling all of this out, smoothing it out on your machine, and then just coming along about an inch and a half. We've done this on all four sides now. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut off that those corners. Be brave. We've, we've reinforced it. We've reinforced this. And we've reinforced that one. So now again, we're able to finish up. <gasps> I, I'm so sorry. I forgot the, um, the loop. But live TV here. <laughs> I screwed up. Um, so now we're going to be pulling this inside out, pushing it, and look. Look at our corners we've made. There is our little corner. And each of our seams, look at that, is matched up nicely. And we've made a little bag. I'll be taking my camera over and showing you a little bit um, how it stands up. But we've made this bag, and look, it's fully lined. You've added the zip. You push your lining in. Your lining goes to that little bag. Now, it's, it's interesting how this did turn out. Remember I said it was a little bit, um, it was a little bit uh, bigger than my other one. They, they, they all turn out different, different sizes. I'm going to push that lining right down in there. Pull my zip up to the top. This is more like maybe a little, I don't know, a little, little, I don't know what kind of bag it is. But there we go. It is a little cosmetic bag. It just doesn't have the hanging loop. It's more of a, a real cosmetic bag with a zipper fully lined. Oh, oh, the last thing you want to do, ah, forget it. Pull your lining back out. Remember, you, have a, you now have a hole in your lining, right? So what you want to do is it's okay. If, if you want to go and, and, um, and, and, and hand stitch this opening, oh, <sighs> ain't nobody got time for that. Um, I, just pull, I just pull the edges together tuck all that rubbish in here, make, you know, push that in, um, fold it together real nice and neatly, and, um, a little bit, yeah, it's all right, and then, um, just real close to the edge, just stitch this opening closed. No one's going to see it. Again, if you remember my backpack, uh, my um, drawstring tutorial, right off. If my drawstring tutorial is the exact same, it's the exact same principle here. And then that's, this lining just gets shoved right in there. Corners to corners. That's a nice little boxed opening that, that you know, as, we've, as we made. Remember, you just sort of, it, it works. It works really nice. And there is our little fully lined, pull your, your zipper up to the top here. You've put a zipper in. Pull this end up here. And there's your little bag. So here's our little bag that we just made. Isn't it sweet? I'm really pleased. And I'm not really bothered that I didn't put the, um, the little hanging thing on it. It's more like a little bucket bag. Um, stands up really, really nice. 
um, the, there's no raw seams, no raw edges. I think if you start making these, um, I think you'll be thrilled um, with how they turn out looking so professional, really. Um, as I said, if you want to quilt them, I quite like them quilted, but if you just want to um, have it a little bit um, um, not as bulky, a little bit sleeker, you just do like the iron-on interfacing, like I said. Um, you don't see the, the, the batting. It's fully lined, zero raw edges. People will be impressed. Um, so that's our little cosmetic bag for today. Um, and this one. So I've used up four blocks. <laughs> oh, I got these blocks. Anyway, um, but I want to show you, you're not limited by um, cosmetic bags. You're going to say, oh, how many cosmetic bags can I make? I just wanted to show you what I've done with this construction method. Look what I made. Um, I made a little clutch bag with a little tassel here attached to the zipper pull, fully lined. This is like in a gold script and it's rather a, an elegant black and gold fabric that I had just a piece of fabric. I cut this one longer and narrower to make a little clutch. I did, I did put a little band on here to hold it for the evening. Um, but what didn't I do? I didn't box off the corners I because this is more practical to hold up and this is prettier. This is just literally a clutch bag. So it's literally, that took me 15 minutes to make. Um, you can also embellish it. Once you start making these, you could put a little, if you have like a shabby chic look, you could put a little uh, ribbon on it with bows or buttons. Um, you can make them bigger, square. Let me tell you what I did for a friend of mine. Um, I wish I, I wish I could, I, I could show you, but she has it. I made an, a laptop bag for her. What I did is I cut a piece of fabric this big, about that big, um, padded it, of course, quilted the fabric. And then on the front, actually, I put, I uh, put another piece of quilted fabric, um, with two pockets for the charger and her cords and the zip at the top for her for her laptop really practical big um and you, i mean you're only limited by your imagination on how you what you can make with these things um this is also a good if you have a beautiful if you go to um flea market or um a yard sale and there's a bit of a beautiful piece of brocade or velvet that's not necessarily quilting cotton you don't and it would make a beautiful bag um an evening bag and and it's like a, you know, or it's sort of an embossed or embroidered piece of fabric you're like what do i do with this hunk of fabric you can make a beautiful bag what a beautiful gift for somebody again you can make small little ones for a change purse little thing just remember always remember your zipper is bigger your and your zipper your zipper will show so um but th this is the construction of of your little bags i i'm i'm you know, I hope you love it. I hope you love it. This one, I put a little tassel on the top. Um, so there, there's our little bag that we made. Oh, you might want to, um, I have, um, I have somewhere like, um, a tailor's ham. I don't know if you know what that is. It's a big round thing to actually press, um, to, to press the inside. But what you can do if you want to iron this and press it is you can just roll up a towel real thick and just press it really nice you know me and my ironing to make it really nice but you don't really have to i didn't press that um but i probably will go back i like things nice and pressed so anyway bag city bag lady here i am make these little bags i think you'll be thrilled with it i do hope you like this tutorial and it opens up a whole world of little gift giving and and things that you'll really be proud of that you made you've you've made a zippered um, lovely fully lined bag. So um, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye